During the October UTA, the highest ranking enlisted airmen in the Air National Guard paid a visit. Command Chief Master Sergeant Jim Hotaling spent the entire Saturday meeting and speaking with airmen on base. There was no special reason for the trip. The Chief's mission was simple. One of the privileges I have as the Command Chief of the Air National Guard is I get to go around the 54 and observe all the great organizations within our Air National Guard. And whether we're the first choice for homeland operations, the enduring choice with partnerships, or the proven choice in combat for the combatant commanders, the Air National Guard is always on mission. And the 166 in the Delaware Air National Guard has proven that today. I go around, I look for leadership skills, I look for the morale and the welfare of our airmen, and I can report to not only the Adjutant General, but to the Wing Commander and to the nation that the 166 is always on mission. Hotelling conducted separate Q&A sessions with the senior and junior enlisted forces. I, I come with three simple messages. The messages are that we must commit to our profession, which is the profession of arms. Every airman must understand that no matter what status they are in, they actually are airmen at all times. And this profession is a serious profession. And there's lots of things that are changing day to day. And we have to take that into mind that this profession is to be treated both at the leadership and the professional development leadership levels uh, seriously, whether it's an airman basic all the way up to chief. Secondly, the health of the force. We have to be mindful of the fact that we need to have a resilient force. So in physical, mental, social, and spiritual realms of resiliency, we have to pay attention to that. And finally, my message is, let's recognize and embrace how awesome the Delaware Air National Guard is. And it's a great thing that we need to tell our story about every single day. Before leaving, he traveled the base to present coins to five outstanding airmen. Each was selected by their leadership as an example of both their individual accomplishments and as a representative of their unit. <laughs>